Good morning, y'all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is Thursday, and uh, my kitchen is nice and clean, and so I'm trying to do something real simple instead of getting my mixer out or anything. I wanted to make a cake for a new neighbor that's moved in, so I'm making what's called a dump cake. I basically took three cups of blueberries and just dumped them down in this pan. So you can see they filled up the bottom of this nine by 13 pan. Now the next thing I'm gonna put in is a giant can of crushed pineapple. And I'm just gonna kind of pour it evenly over the whole thing. I can do that. I have to use a spoon to do that. Just to make sure it gets out there evenly. is hiding at the bottom. Okay, so now we got the pineapple in there on that layer. The next thing is to put a half a cup of sugar. And I'm just going to sprinkle this over all of it. This will just help draw some of the juice out of those blueberries because we need some juice in there. Then, I'm just going to take a cake mix, just like a yellow cake mix. Uh, if you use a big box, then it's just one box of cake mix. If you use those little jiffy ones, um, which I didn't have any today, I would wish I had, you use two of those. So, um, I just have the one here, so I'm just going to sprinkle this over all of this. Sprinkle it really evenly. You don't really stir it, you just layer it in here. stuff is so soft. That cake flour that's in it, I guess, makes it feel really soft. Okay, so you can see that's completely covered there. And now I've got this neat little thing. Let me show you this. This is something I've had for years. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a butter slicer. Back in the days when I guess people slice their butter to serve it on for fancy dinners. But anyhow, you just take it and press it down on a stick of butter like this, and then it cuts it into little pieces of butter, little pats of butter that now I can put all over this cake. If you don't have one of these, you can certainly use a knife. That's what I would be doing otherwise. Oops. So this provides the liquid from the top and then we always had the other liquid underneath. So that should help make the cake mix nice and moist. I'm just gonna squeeze some of these extras in here. Oh, these last two got soft on me. 
You have to do it when it's cold. Squishes together. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to put on here is a cup of pecans. Now you can use walnuts if you prefer walnuts. Um, I love pecans, so and that's what I had on hand, so that's what I'm using. We've got a new neighbor that moved in. Bob actually sold them their home, and they're going to have horses, so we're excited about having horses at the end of the road. So anyhow, I'm making this little cake for them. I hope they enjoy it. Kind of a welcome to the neighborhood cake. Okay, so that's it. Just like that, this cake is made, and I'm going to be putting it right in the oven um, at 350 for about uh, 35 minutes, something like that. So I'll keep an eye on it, and we'll know for sure uh, when I get back with you. But I'm just gonna put it in the oven now, and I'll get back with you when it's time. To all right, I just took it out of the oven. I wound up cooking it about 50 minutes because um, you want it to get brown. It starts bubbling around the edges first, but then you want it to um, to brown the cake portion of it too. So I want you to see how good that looks. Isn't that awesome? All that dark is the blueberries. It's not burned. That's the blueberries that's bubbling up, up all around the edges and a little bit in the center. The pecans are nice and toasty, so I wish I could taste it to just tell y'all how great it is, but I've had it many times before. I know it's good, and I'm going to let it cool off, and then I'll cover it with foil, and we'll deliver it to our new neighbors uh, later today. So I hope you've um, had a wonderful day, and I hope you've uh, found something you could do for someone. Uh, just. Uh, it's always good when you can uh, help somebody else out with some of your great cooking. So go, go in your kitchen, bake something, and go share it with someone. Love you all. Bye-bye.